In this video, we'll be performing a local installation and configuration of Obo Keylogger for Mac. If you require a remote installation keylogger for Mac, please see our Mac keyloggers at remotekeyloggers.net. Let's begin. The download will be immediately available upon purchase. Copy the files and paste them to the folder of your choice. We'll be pasting ours into a random audio file. Open the ABK file and you'll be able to select Enable Access for Assistive Devices, which will allow you future access to the Opal Keylogger dashboard using Control Alt A. We're now in the Opal Keylogger dashboard. Select Open System Preferences Universal Access to access the Keylogger settings. This is the Opal dashboard. In the general settings, you can set a password so that only you will be able to access the program, check the log, or change the hotkey configuration. In the log section, you can select what type of data, keystrokes, conversations, and passwords you would like to capture. The OPPO captures both sides of the conversation, and by enabling iChat, you'll be able to capture conversations taking place via the entire iChat platform. Depending on whether the Mac being monitored uses iChat, the Keylogger can capture Jabber, Facebook, and other chat platforms, including text messages. The Screenshot section allows you to capture screenshots of what the monitored user is seeing on the Mac's display. We recommend that you pause screenshots on inactivity. The email section allows you to choose where you'd like the reports to be invisibly sent and how often. Once the keylogger is installed on the Mac, you no longer need physical access in order to receive your reports. FTP is for advanced users who wish to receive their reports via file transfer protocol. Most users will prefer to receive their reports via email. If you wish to receive your reports via FTP, please see the documentation included in the user guide you received when you purchased the keylogger. If the Mac to be monitored has multiple users, you can choose which users will and will not be monitored in the user section. Returning to the general settings, we'll go ahead and add a password which will work as a double layer of security, so that if the hotkey combination is accidentally pressed, Instead of showing the Keylogger control panel, the user will be prompted to enter the password. If entered successfully, the Keylogger dashboard will appear. We'll also choose to record keystrokes and websites, and to auto-delete the logs after two days. We don't intend to save the logs on the computer, as we'll be choosing to receive them via email. We'll also choose a new hotkey combination to bring up the dashboard, something slightly more complex. We'll leave the screenshot capture as it is, and for email, we'll go ahead and choose to receive a report every 60 minutes. We recommend setting up a new Gmail account and using the settings that you see here. If you're not using Gmail and you don't know your settings, simply click help and you'll find all settings for all popular email providers. When you're satisfied with your settings, click hide and go. Here, we're performing a test on the Keylog computer. We've received a message in chat and will reply. When we view the log, we can see the message received as well as sent, and this applies to email reports as well. Thanks for watching this tutorial. To learn more, visit us at remotekeyloggers.net. We have the largest selection of free keyloggers, remote installation keyloggers for PC, Android, and iPhone, secure downloads, up-to-date coupon codes, and anonymous HTTPS encrypted secure purchases. Thanks again for watching, folks.